Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, I mean, the sun literally exploded with one of the most powerful solar flares in over a decade. It was the most powerful. And this this 10X class, which they're calling a 9.3, but we've seen the charts, and this thing spiked at about 10.1. Well, if you thought wildfires and in the western part of America, Category 5 hurricanes, major floodwaters, and uh, are the only weather emergencies we got going. You're wrong, folks, because we had a an absolute cataclysmic explosion on the sun, releasing a massive solar flare and 10X class headed directly toward the earth. As the southern coast right now is preparing for the wrath of Hurricane Irma. And and then, of course, we're still suffering from the tremendous damage and the floodwaters and the wind and the rain of Hurricane Harvey that in the mass destruction and the mess left down there in Texas, then the sun decided to just unleash the most powerful category uh, solar flare in over a decade the 14th largest solar flare in the history of humanity. Matter of fact, the sun erupted yesterday and again in the afternoon sending what scientists call a coronal mass ejection. These are CMEs. They're headed right toward the earth. A coronal mass ejection, folks, of course, is a huge explosion of a magnetic field and plasma from the sun's corona and it's headed right for us. Uh, for, and for those of you who don't know all about that kind of stuff, uh, of course, a solar flare is a brief eruption of intense high energy radiation from the sun that can cause electromagnetic disturbances on Earth. These two flares that we had are the strongest ones we've seen in over a decade. And uh, folks, it's unbelievable when, they, when anytime you have an X-class flare, even if it's just a one, it's huge. Matter of fact, it was a 1.9 X-class solar flare that erupted on the sun that caused the earthquake at Fukushima, which was a 9.0 earthquake. We're not talking about a 1.9 solar flare. We're talking about a 9.3 and probably more like a 10. So we haven't been hit with this yet. It's coming. The CME from this blast is coming. And uh, BP Earthwatch is working on the projected time of arrival, but it looks like it's going to be more like around the 8th or 9th of September that this is going to hit just before Hurricane Irma hits probably the southern portion of Florida. So there's a lot going on. There's tremendous concerns. Uh, Scientists are watching very closely. Uh, And it's not just earthquakes that we have to be concerned about from this powerful solar flare, but we have to be concerned about electromagnetic storms, geomagnetic uh, disturbances, Uh, power grids being fried. Uh, There's already been massive uh, radio blackouts in Europe and Africa and in other portions of the planet. And so we know there could be major disruptions, okay? This could actually be a, a natural EMP, which makes me concerned that China might use the opportunity to actually do a EMP and then can say they didn't do it and it can be blamed on <clears throat> the sun. So there's a lot going on. Yellowstone has, of course, been giving earthquake after earthquake. The pressures are building everywhere. And I actually, as I'm doing this video, I'm just going to check because you have to keep checking the earthquake charts because I know the pressure from this is going to be on the tectonic plates. And it's going to put so much pressure on them that if there's any of them that are ready to go, they could go. It depends where on the Earth's surface that this that this uh, blast from the CMEs, coronal mass ejection. Plus, don't forget, 
ton of radiation comes with us. UV rays, uh, cosmic rays, okay? Uh, it's, it's, we're going to be inundated because it's just too powerful. I'm checking the earthquake map just to be sure that we haven't had anything major uh, in the last few hours. And uh, it looks like everything's fairly normal. Of course, the big story is still Yellowstone because we're having earthquake after earthquake after earthquake. It just won't stop at, in Soda Springs, Idaho as the magma is moving and Yellowstone is absolutely awake. The super volcano under there is incredibly moving releasing earthquakes, seismic activity, just a lot going on, okay? The earth rising up in Yellowstone National Park, all of this happening. And this solar flare doesn't relieve any pressure. It just keeps building more on the core of the earth. It heats up the core of the earth, which is only fueling any volcanic uh, activity that might be on the planet. So we'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy but it's not just the wildfires out west. It's not just the floodwaters and the destruction in Texas, nor is it just Hurricane Irma headed for Florida. And don't forget, we got which is a Category 5. Don't forget, you have a Category 4 hurricane, excuse me, a, hurricane, uh, a Category 1 hurricane in Hurricane Jose that's coming in behind Irma and a Category 1 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico called Hurricane Katia. We don't know where that thing's going to go yet. So we're dealing with three hurricanes at once and wildfires out of control in the West Coast. And, oh, don't forget, we got a guy named Kim Jong-un. He's playing with nuclear bombs. What?